Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing on like mainstream media or any platforms that you could think of where they're pushing their agendas and their um their propagandas and all things like that. Um so today I just wanted to uh, go over Lizzo. Um I was watching um some YouTube uh channels and I did come across a Lizzo video and um I just wanted to piggyback and add on because um I actually do um know that she she has played uh, a dual role and um Lizzo is the secondary character and um the main character is uh Tokyo Vanity she she's um from Love and Hip Hop um I was just recently looking into Love and Hip Hop, so it kind of once I saw the Lizzo video, it kind of she popped right out. <laughs> everything was matching, um, their storylines, the the way they behave, everything. Then it, when I investigated, uh, the looks were on point. Um, so yeah, let let's go into like seeing. Uh, People now are like, you're a singer, you're not a rapper, and I'm like, thanks, <laughs> because honey, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so I got this uh, from mag the bitter truth channel um shout out to that channel um so i did take this still still this little clip um but i i just wanted to piggyback off of this clip because i i realized uh that they were playing a big game and she kind of says it in the clip Did you just hear that? This is, I've I known her for being a singer. I didn't even know she was a rapper at some point. Um, Tokyo Vanity is a rapper. Um, so the fact that Lizzo is stating that um, people were saying that she couldn't rap and she could sing. And she was like, oh my God, I, I didn't know I, that because I can't sing. I don't even know how this character even came about if she's not a singer. And here she is being a big world uh star she was just on snl eddie murphy just introduced her so i mean they're all in on it you know because <laughs> obviously if eddie murphy's introducing lizzo they must have known she came from love and hip-hop as tokyo styles went for it they were playing and i was like ah, just singing oh, shit, yeah i didn't want to um get any the voice in there so let me uh go over how tokyo styles what are you even doing out with your ex Man, her people died. Granddaddy died. I'm out with the girl. She's That's not free. No, but I love her, though. I don't give a f who died. You always treat her. A motherfucking shoulder to cry on is a f to ride on. And you, you heard know. her propaganda, a, a shoulder to cry on is a, a DI to ride on. You know, there they go pushing stuff in, in people's ears. Um, they, they take this stuff and they run with it. Like, oh, well, I do it because I've seen it on Love and Hip Hop. So, you know, I could call my ex and hang out. And so, you know, this is propaganda that they push. So, um, you, you clearly saw she didn't even care. She was like complaining to her boyfriend, but it's like, did she really even care? No, it was a whole skit. He, uh, they wanted you, they wanted to push that agenda of him sneaking, talking to his ex, hanging out and, uh, her acting like it's not that big of a deal if he'd have told her. Like, listen, it's not shouldn't be reality, but that's the reality they're trying to push. They're trying to push people out to be like very single. So uh this, you know, everybody can mess with everybody, including the same genders. Like it it gotta be wild and chaos for it that to make sense for us to be dating the same gender. So yeah, that's the whole point of these things. Um so she was got famous for well, that little clip. Get your ass out of New Orleans, baby. I'm working, girl. Working on new music. About to drop my first project. And I got a new plan. So you heard how she said she's working. She she told her uh she's working. And that's this is why I always tell y'all guys that like they're working, they work because they are the ones that's saying this. They know that she's know she was working on a new album, but she this is literally uh this was like a couple years ago. She didn't come out with no album. I mean she probably was making music, but it wasn't nothing that was going mainstream. But Lizzo was going mainstream. So she probably was talking about working on that, you know? You done made it to Atlanta. Thank God. Finally. Can't get your ass out of New Orleans, baby. I be working, girl. Working on new music. About to drop my first project. And I... 
about to drop her first project. She's not even saying like album or anything. The project was to, was Lizzo. This is around the time Lizzo dropped out. Uh, probably a year after this little when she did her little debut. You know they they pre tape these things. So anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, yeah, that's enough of it that. It was like a concert. So, so now we're just gonna compare these two because I feel like videos um is always the best to compare because like literally you can see them looking alike, sounding alike, talking alike behaving when they're answering their questions alike some people could be laid back as i showed you some people could be real feisty as i showed you um and you're gonna see how they are similar oh everybody wanted to be in band band was cool it was what cool in fifth and sixth grade Ooh. and then and then all of a sudden I can feel I gotta slow it down for people because uh a lot of people be giving me backlash in my comments, but the thing is they never say it's not the person. They never say that. They just be like, oh go to bed. Or, oh you got no life or stuff like that or whatever that whatever they be saying, but they never say it's not the same person. They're not I I see these people a while, but they're not that wild, you know? <laughs> they're not denying what's going on they're just like oh stop bothering them that's the way i take it like go to sleep and this and that means like just leave them alone let them do this no way look at their teeth look how they talk look at the face hey, I, I, I just wanted to be really good not, I I don't pick really me bitch i don't want to be so picked bitch you know it's so hard to be good at it it's a very difficult instrument i became like obsessed they both shake their, their heads while they talk I mean, do I have to slow that part down for you guys? Um, yeah, I don't. Do I have to really like slow most of this stuff down for you guys? Like, look at this. Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's go on to the next video where we're, they're talking. We have a photo of you coming to the VMA. Well, it, I mean, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success, period. Like, Twins. anybody Twins. who just pops up, you know, definitely okay. laid the groundwork. And, um, yeah, I, I just love music. So I've been touring for a long time. I've been Same putting voice. out old mistakes. I've been in groups for a long time. I've been playing the flute forever. Study. I now, everybody I showed you. They talk the same. She's swaying her head and swaying like they talk exactly the same. They, their swag is there. You can only be yourself. So I I I I know people want to say a lot of things backlashing, but um, at least you're not saying they're not the same person because you know that you're not that wow. I mean, you're not that slow, okay? So continue to be continue to be rude, but at least you're not trying to be wrong. Performance of flute. That's what I didn't want to do. Whatever. We're going to get back into that anyway. Let's, let's, uh, where were we? Okay. Yeah, I got another Young Pharaoh video, but it, it was literally just me trying to prove something because he doesn't take anybody calls, but I'm, I'm going to go for that one day um, of what I had took footage of. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the, the performance. Let's move on to the performances. You know, I really can't um, listen to the music, but I did want you guys to look at this th this dance move that Meg the Stallion did. did. This she did this on SNL literally a year before. Like this is in two thousand and nineteen, like the December two thousand and nineteen, whatever. And Meg the Stallion song just came out, and look, literally, look what dance she does. So you could tell that they're regurgitating dances, and and they're all a part. They're all in this circle. They're all in this agenda. This transgender dance and all that this is a to promote this is all an agenda and they, they, they're not even doing their own thing they're not doing their own style nothing okay look at the body 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 i thought she was doing it and i'm like oh this is to her own song last year so you see what kind of agenda they have with the transgender dance <laughs> is that not big frida again like like Meg the Stallion dance with the body. At, is this not the a tribute to Big Frida, the transgenders? Like wait, what? What are y'all not understanding? It's a big circle of scam, big giant scam. And, and I mean, we need to get rid of them and, and stop. They need to be off the time. Till they're off the timeline, I'm gonna keep doing this. Till they're off the timeline and people are like, oh, I'm done with them. They're not even real people. They're not even doing nothing original. They're just getting passed down a bunch of like scripts, down to the music and everything. And their voice is not. She can't even sing. So who's singing for her? Okay, peep game, peep game, man. Bring 
wanted you to see the twerking because they, her and Tokyo does the same corny little twerk. Okay. See how they both perform the same. Like they're like, la, 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 la. Here, here she goes, la 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 la. Same voice. Only thing she gotta do is scream like Lizzo was doing. Okay. And then I do want you to see her twerking. She got boy problems. They that's the uh skit that they both share where they have all these guy issues and they they're big and big set women that don't that lets it all out. They think they're sexy. They they probably are. I don't care about that part. I just don't like the fact that they're lying about being this different people and they're the same person. That's my issue. I started my channel off of scamming, so I don't know why you think this does not correlate into scamming because it, it, it very much does. And she's not singing, she's not doing it, she's not. The only thing we're doing is purchasing her. They're just selling her, the puppet. We don't need the puppet. Just throw the music out without the person. And if it's none of this stuff, it's theirs. You know? But yeah, I wanted you to see the twerking. They do the exact same twerk. It's like a, the same bend over situation. Look, it's like, here we go. That's the Turk that at the shake. That it's like this weird shake that they, she does. And she's clearly going to do it in here, too. Let's speed it up because I really don't want to see it again. Um, Whatever. I'll let it go because it's like kicking me out every time I try to do something different. Um, Yeah, look at the same little slow looking twerk. It's the same little thing I just showed you, okay? Same little situation going on. Oh, 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 identical. Oh, that's her favorite move. Okay? So the whole purpose of this is, this is her new music out. Like we got plenty. Lamp truck rent it. Bad bitches in it. Hit 450 and you know we finna spin it. Or you... Has been... Wait, I want y'all to catch the ending. Has been... SBA is like, so who you bank with or something like that. Who you bank with? That like the, you already know they work who they're working for. The Eli's and the Eli's give the bankers and the bankers give the funds everything here and the world, not United States, the world. Um, so yeah, you see that this is not their music. I mean, come on, like they're all rapping about like Eli stuff, like uh Roman stuff or or bi biblical stuff. You think they're all incorporating that in their music because it's just cool and no one else has nothing else to, to incorporate but that kind those kind of topics. Right. I mean, come on. So anyway, yeah, she's promoting, I'm richer than ever, ho. You've, you've effed. I don't know what that even means. But you already know what she's trying to promote. Like, they, they try to brag and make make it seem like they're better than people because they have more money. But if, I'd rather live in a garbage can than, than be the, selling my, you know, selling these scams to people. You know, selling, like, uh, all these fake things and, and getting over on people. I don't, I, I, I wouldn't be able to live myself that happily knowing that, oh, I'm making all this money. Um, and making other people not happy about, you know, p promoting like, oh, I'm better than it. Like, it's not a good thing that you're promoting. So you got a bunch of people out there behaving that way. And you're being given the script and you're and you're fulfilling your, your, your script. And it's just like really messed up to to do this for money. You know, it's not that serious. Like figure out another way, like work two, three jobs like everybody else if you want extra money. But no, they do. They take the easy way out and they're, they're punks. Because they're over here, um, people. A lot of people don't understand what they're doing, and they they fall for it all the time. Okay, so um, yeah, let's move on uh, to another agenda. Like, come on, what is this? The girl is always naked and showing her body. The other one thinks she's sexy. She thinks she's sexy. This could be sexy. I don't. I don't. It's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, really, uh, on a platform like this, this is what they're gonna promote. You know? Does that make sense? Does this even looks like a real body? Does a butt does a butt look that like like the cheek is like boop boop and then it's like a bunch of stuff going on, okay? Then the cheek is just like boop boop. I mean I don't know. I said I thought the cheek should go around, but I don't know. Maybe that's normal. I have no idea. But you see, she's pushing what she's pushing to people. 
that just like Cardi B and I think it was other people that's totally naked in their video. Like I, I was thinking like this clothes are so skimpy, what's gonna be next? Naked? And I was just joking. And that's literally what was going on next. People are literally just dead butt naked in their in their pictures in their and it's like, is that, is this real life? Like, yeah. The only thing they got on is they hat. That's these, these hats, these, these, plat you know, and I wear little wigs, but it's not for like, oh, every day I got to, I'm going to the store and throwing a wig. No, I'd rather put a scarf on if my hair, if I don't feel like brushing my hair or if it's braided up, than to be having, um, put, putting these things on like it's like a ritual. Like, you know, you have to have it before you, and it's somebody else. Look at all this on down your back. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I, I do it. But I don't do it like as if it's something like that it has to be there. And only why they're doing it is because they want to make men uh, fit in with the women. So this is going to be a, a gender X look, you know, like anybody could do this look. OK, they got Lizzo playing a flute. And, and mind you, see the color change. I know, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you some more pictures of her color. But look at Lizzo here and look at her color. It, it, I took a, a, a shot of a video, so it's a little dark. Sorry for it to go keep going in and out, but this is the way I have to do my videos now. So I don't have to keep redoing it. Um, this is the best way to do it. I don't have time to be doing the way they was doing it. They were trying to defeat me. Yeah, so look at this color. Look at that color. You know, you're not really able to see it well, but that's Lizzo. And I mean, she's totally like two, three shades darker. She's more of the color of um, Tokyo at this time. So you see how they play with the color. That's why I don't care about color. This could be all body paint. I don't know what the hell, what they do, but it's obvious that they're changing colors back and forth. Um, yeah, she can't play the flute for like. You really think she could play the flute? You really think that that's what she's doing out here, playing flutes? They got a clip of like Katy Perry playing the flute, and then she missed a couple of to toots, and then there was like ah, and had to admit that she don't play the flute. But what, if you wouldn't have missed those, if you wouldn't have missed those notes. Would you have told everybody that you don't know how to play the flute? So, yeah, let's get them out of here. Um, let's compare some pictures. Tokyo from Love and Hip Hop is always going to be to the left. And we got um, Lizzo always going to be to the right. So you guys won't get confused because they are twinsies, first first cousins, sisters, um, the same per you know, the same person. That's what I want to say, allegedly. You know, that's what I want to say. But, you know, we're going to keep it... Um, light for youtube um yeah so you see it's like a little color difference but like i showed you they play with the girl color um and it's clear as day that they're they're looking in exactly the like and with the mouth the teeth the cheeks everything is there the eyes even the shape okay they both like to wear a lot of black lingerie all right okay I mean, they she likes to wear a lot of pink. They both like to be like pink, like girly, and say like they got the literally the same storyline. That's how you always really tie this all in together when the storyline fits. Look at the middle of over the lip of the mouth, like up here. And as you can see, same mouth, same eyes, same, you know, twins. And they they're kind of the same color here. So you see how they play and look at the the shirt she has on. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, all of them are down. They all down. They all in it. You know. Okay, I don't know how big you want me to make this for you, but look at literally the same teeth. They didn't even bother putting no flippers or anything in. She just wanted to be quickly. She wanted her character to be quick, so she left herself the same. Cause she, you know, some people don't. If she's in like a like if Lizzo is like she's not really like I don't know like if people are not if people watching Love and Hip Hop they're probably not listening to Lizzo like that. Like they're not watching her like that. They probably heard a song of hers maybe in a store. Or we'll probably like one song, a catchy song, but that's that's the get that's the gag because they think that they don't have the same fans, so they don't really do much of a difference to each other. And then they think maybe if I change my color too, it, it'll be like, oh well, look, I'm tan and she. But it's like really, but everything else matches and you're not related, so it don't make any sense. And, and, and even if these people were related, wouldn't that be a big scam too? That oh, only your cousins and your your sisters and your those are the only people that could be famous, even if they could sing or not. That's still a scam. We're thinking these people have talent and they're being fa the, the stories they give us and the, the oh don't don't get me started on these old photos that never look wrinkled, that never look like they're taking a picture of a photo. It's like the photo is just like it like like cropped out and everything. Like how are you doing this with an old photo? You know, and I don't want to hear about restoration. All these celebrities are restoring all their old photos. It's not necessary. Why don't you give us some old wrinkle photos? They they all look like they just take these old photos as their self. That like it'd be like, oh, let's look younger. Like the movies where you're that age, but they try to make you look like seventeen to do a flashback. 
what do those old photos look like that? Like they doing just flashbacks at right now. Like doesn't look like they're younger or nothing. Look like the same person, but they trying to make them look young. <sighs> right. So here we go with some more sexy pictures, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys they have the same kind of shape. They do the same kind of tilt and same kind of wiggle dance. And um, they got the same side profile, cheek, everything. So I just like to give a lot of um, pictures where they're doing a lot of the similar faces. Because it's like, I don't want to give you one or two pictures. And it's like, oh, well, that's just a lucky picture. All in, 10, 15 pictures is lucky. Stop. Stop. Cut it out. All right. When one is on, the other one is quiet. Most of the time, like if this one is very busy, you're not going to hear much from the other one. This is how they do it. And they, like Tokyo said herself. And other people, they are working. They say this all the time. That's why I tell you they are working. And I can use this reference all the time about Target or wherever you want to work at, or Wendy's, um, where your, your your job description is to flip burgers and then, you know, all the burgers was flipped and you're done. You're such a good worker. You finish early. And then the boss will look at you like, oh, well, the, the tables need to be wiped down. Bruh, I didn't know. I, 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 um, when my description said I was going to be flipping burgers and doing a fry machine. Why do I have to bust suds and, and, and start cleaning the, the tables down? Because you just don't want to see me standing. But my job is done. My description of my job is fulfilled. But that's just the way work goes. It's like you're never done. And as long as you're paying you, you're never. If I like, get up, get up and work. Anyway, yeah. So you see right here that I just wanted to show you guys the like how they're like both looking down. It's just like identical twinsies, identical twins. I know I'm regurgitating some pictures, but it's like. They were so perfectly going together. Okay. They hold their mouth exactly the same. They smell, look exactly the same. Uh, Lizzo trying to be a little bit more happier. And, and Tokyo tries to be a little bit more sassier. But they, the personalities and everything is still in the same character. They still get the st same storylines. Um, Because as you can see, it says like Lizzo B-E-N. Like, you know, if you didn't see like her title, I don't know where one is at. Where her, her Instagram is Lizzo B-E-N. And as you can see, Tokyo is always like talking about food and eating. Just Thanksgiving, she said she dropped like the macaroni and cheese. Like, it's always like the same storyline, okay? Just remember that, okay? So here we go. Here we go. She liked to look down a lot for stuff. I don't know what she's looking for. Look at that mouth. Look at the mouth and look how she's holding her face. And they like to do the makeup the same too. And the wigs and everything. Wigs line up. Everything lines right up. They are like literally, they don't really change. They, she didn't change anything. They just thought that they wouldn't have the same fan crowd, you know? Not too many people from Love of Hip Hop is listening to Lizzo on SNL, you know? Look at the mouth. Look at the fit, cheekbones. I just wanted to point these things out to you guys. Okay, look at the mouth. Look how her eyes are. Everything is on point. Look at the shoulders. Look how she looks over her shoulder. Like, this is her look. This is her sexy go-to picture look. Okay. Okay, so the photos are done. So I'm going to make this quick. Um, I try to make these videos less than 15 minutes, but it just never happens because of the video clips that I have. So it always stretches out to like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so, yeah, um... Tokyo Vanity, I don't really see any of, like, uh, I think her her real name is, I, I, I had these pictures, the pictures in there, I don't know what happened to them, but her real name uh, is something, and she has a middle name, uh, Tokyo, her real name is, they don't, she doesn't have a middle name, um, so it, it, it seemed like the middle name was kind of like what matches her, Tokyo Vanity, and then it, her name was like something, Vivian something, so like Vivian and Vanity, I feel like that was kind of like the the little indication where, you know, it, it doesn't really match. Her, their names didn't really match, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, the, it just, she didn't have a middle name, but then she has a middle name. And it just so happened to be like a vi Vivian, like with Vanity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always some corny stuff like that. Sometimes it's really direct. And sometimes it's not, but it's still there. Um, they're saying uh, Tokyo is five foot six. I read somewhere else. It was five foot eight. So they're, you know, you can't really trust these things. And, um... Lizzo is five foot ten, so they're around the same height. And you know, if you look at it, you could tell that usually when I compare these people, they're the same height. And you can always tell when I'm comparing them that they're like the same height. So that's all I really had today. I just wanted to really briefly go over to Lizzo. Um, 
you know i, I want to do some other videos maybe do vid some videos where i some people already done them like uh the, the tommy lee and um duchess like that that really messed me up because I, I didn't catch that but then when i looked back at the videos i said yeah they are definitely the same people and i just wanted to just do another do a video even though one is out i just wanted to do like a full detail video because i just wanted you guys to see the scam of it you know how they play games we're like you know anyway i'll probably do that with that video so like share and subscribe please share i want the word to spread i could care less about likes and subscriptions even though i, I would like them but the main point my agenda uh, everyone that's on here has an agenda i don't know exactly what it is whether they want to be seen they want to be heard or they want to you know i don't know because like I, I could care less about a lot of things but what i do want is for people to actually take action into seeing how annoying the scam is and that it's not fair to people that could really sing and really have you know how many people i know that could sing has talent rap and they never make it to where they want to make it or even if they make it a little bit they never get anywhere really and it look like they're struggling they can't like the the industry will spit suck them up and spit them out so yeah like i just want to fight for those people because those are real people that that really lives out and, and they don't understand and some people don't get that the 22 catch that they got going on that and if they did, maybe they wouldn't try so hard to get into this group, this 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 world, because this world is, is an illusion. It's a big fake scam. And they try to take real people with dreams and suck up all their money from like managing and, and, and photo. Like I, I remember I tried to get like a um picture thing, uh, I forget what it's called, like a portfolio, and a guy took my it was in Manhattan, nice building. He had like makeup artists, three scene shoots, and then like it was time to get the pictures and the, the whole place was empty. So like these places are super big giant scams. I, I can't I can't even go into how many scams in this industry it is. And once I got loop of it very long ago, it, it became it began more now I'm going to be like a wolf in it. And then that makes it even worse. So it's like, look, just step out of it. And then, then you know what? Ignore them and make this disappear and let life get a little bit better. And maybe we can have a talent situation or Hollywood where it's more no Holly, no illusion and more, um, you know, real stuff, real, real substance. Because it's really people out here that can sing, that can dance and is really talented. And it ain't none of these people. OK, I don't care what they are doing, but they are telling you in their their interviews stuff that they're not. They're not doing this and they're not they're not singing this, they're not writing this. Like, what are y'all not listening to? Cardi B was like, oh yeah, that's my voice though. Like, she's not they're not doing anything. Drake, like, oh, you're not gonna mess my money up. So what's up with y'all? Like, what y'all like about them so much? Y'all like their looks that much? Even though they're they're not real, there's not real looks either. Like they could literally be a white person, they could be a black, I don't know what the hell they are, because you could see they're playing with these colors and all that. They could, that could be a whole fat bodysuit on both of these people, like they did with Biggie Smalls. So like, share, and subscribe if you want to um, piggyback off of my video or take the exact video. I do not mind. Um, you can do whatever you need to do to spread the word. Um, share on your Instagram. Share, share, share. I know these things can get awkward. I don't really like to share on my Instagram because people just um, are awkward about it. But, you know, we need to stop being awkward. Stop being scared about what people think because this is why they keep us stuck in jail. To keep us stuck in this, this matrix. So like, share, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your night.